It's time to learn how to do a parallax background in Gadoo engine. Here is without parallax background and here is with parallax background and here without. Let's go! You'll need to use the project window resolution. Mine is 480 by 270. We'll use the sprite which has the same resolution as the window project. We'll make it repetitive on the x-axis. The next task is to slow it down in the reference to the player. Later we will increase our sprite size by one length of Y and limit the parallax to be inside this Y length of the sprite. Ok, time for practice! Here we have a basic 2D level with a player who has a camera 2D node, you can see the camera border as purple, some basic tilesets and the house. Party time! Ok, let's add a three nodes. It will be a parallax background, parallax layer and the sprite. Now let's drag and drop prepared texture to the sprite texture. It needs to have the resolution of the game window. The first important thing you need to turn off the centered of the sprite. It is because the parallax is working from point 0, 0, so it will be much easier to manage it. If you run the project now, you can notice that nothing special has happened. It's just a sprite on the level scene, so let's use a little magic with a mirror effect. Let's go to the parallax layer, motion and change mirror x to 480. It's my x length on the screen and the sprite. Now you can see that the sprite is looped forever. No matter which direction will go. So now it's time to fix the y position of the background. Now let's go to the parallax background, scroll and we need to set the limits. The first point is ok because it's 0, 0 from here. The second point will be the 0 and 270 which is the y length on the screen. So the second point will be here. So we will have the limit from this point to this point. Now we have a good position of parallax no matter where the object are, but the problem is that the background has the same speed as the player and the scene objects. So let's change this. In the parallax layer change x to 0.25. It means that the background will have only 25% of the camera speed. So right now we have a nice working background. I hope this method is simple enough, like the video if you like it and let's move forward. The next step is to use a bigger texture than the window screen. This sprite with the sky is 480 by 540 pixels. So the X size is the same as the game window, but the Y axis is two times bigger. Now let's run the game and it's only dark blue color. It is because we have a limit of texture from 0 to 270. We need to change the limit of parallax background to 540 as a texture Y. And now it's working correctly, but it's strange that the player started from the sky. So let's fix it. Let's transfer the parallax layer by the height of the window, in our case minus 270. Now we need also change the limits for the parallax background because of this transformation from minus 270 to 270. The last thing to change is the scale of Y motion from the parallax background. It is important to change it here instead of the parallax layer because it won't work correctly. Let's use 25%. And that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something. You can follow me on the Twitter where I post the progress of this game or you can just say hi to all the people of the most popular Discord server of the universe. So have a nice day and see you later. Party time!